Now, you know that we have been working on this course since a while now. We get started with this course by understanding what is WordPress. Then we just take a look at the basic understanding of PHP. Then we understand the dashboard of WordPress. And then we'll just take a look at how to build a basic WordPress theme. And in the previous section, you understand how you can build this beautiful template for your WordPress theme. Now we know that how to build this beautiful template for your WordPress theme. Now, now the time has come to learn how you can be a WordPress theme developer. In this section, I'm going to show you how you can convert this HTML template into WordPress theme so you can create your own WordPress template easily. So let's get started and see how to convert this beautiful HTML template into WordPress dynamic theme. So to convert this template into WordPress, you just need to grab this HTML template and just put that into and put that template into server directory. So as you know, on the desktop, I'm going to have this HTML template in this template directory. I'm going to just copy this template directory and just paste it into the WordPress theme directory. So I'm going to just copy this folder and I'm going to just open the XAMPP control panel. I just click on this explorer. When I click on it, this will just open the XAMPP server folder. Inside it, I'm going to have this htdoc and in this htdoc, I'm going to have this WordPress folder. In this WordPress, I'm going to just open this WP content and I'm going to just open this themes folder. You can see here we have the basic WordPress theme folder as well. So now I'm going to just paste my HTML template here. So I'm going to right click here and say paste. And I'm going to just rename it and rename it to WP template. So that would be great to recognize this template file. I'm going to just open this WP template and I'm going to just simply open this folder in the Visual Studio Code Editor. Now, when you open this WP folder in the Visual Studio Code Editor, it will something look like this. In this folder, you have the assets, the vendors folder, and you have your index.html and style.css file. Now, if you try to find this template in the WordPress, you're not going to get anything there. Because, as you know, in WordPress, we need two files required to create a WordPress template, index.php and style.css. In these files, you can notice we don't have index.php. So why don't we convert this index.html file and make it index.php. So I'm going to just rename this file. I'm going to just click on it and I'm going to just right click here and say rename. And I'm going to just rename this extension of this file. I don't need to change the name of this file. Instead, I just want to change this extension. And I'm going to say here index.php. So now, as you can see, you have your WordPress theme. Now, if you try to find this template, you will get this template in the WordPress theme section. So I'm going to just open my WordPress dashboard first, dashboard. So I'm going to just open a new tab and on the new tab and in the URL right here, I'm going to just say localhost forward slash, then specify the WordPress directory. Then I'm going to say WP admin. When I press enter, this will just bring me to the login page of the dashboard. So as you know, I have the username for this WordPress dashboard, which is admin. And I'm going to just specify password here, admin at the rate one, two, three. So this is the password of this admin. I'm going to just click on this login to login into my dashboard. So as you can see, once I logged in, I have my beautiful dashboard here. Let me just hover over this appearance and click on these themes. When I click on it, you can notice we have this WP template theme here. Now, if you want to activate this theme, you can click on this activate button or you can just live preview of this theme. But as you know, we just change the extension of the HTML file and make that file PHP. So we don't have anything inside this template. So I'm going to leave this as it is. And now I want to specify this beautiful screenshot just like this for my template. Now, let me show you how you can specify this beautiful screenshot for your template. So let me just first open a new tab and search for WordPress screenshot sites. When you search for it, you can notice we have some information here. According to the WordPress codex for theme development, the recommended theme screenshot size is 1200 pixel wide and 900 pixel tall. So as the information says, we need to create an image file 1200 by 900 pixel. So let me just create this file and put that file in the root directory of the template. 
I'm going to just close this tab and I'm going to just close this first tab as well. Now, I already have that file in my system. So I'm going to copy that file and paste it inside the root directory of this template file. Now, I already have this file. So I'm going to copy it and paste it inside this directory, just like this. Now, if you're wondering how to create this file, then it's super easy to create this file. Then let me explain how to create it. Once you finish your WordPress theme, just capture the screenshot of your template file and then just resize it to 1200 by 900 pixel and just copy and paste that file in the root directory of your project. As simple as that. Now, if you just back to your dashboard and reload it, we have the screenshot for this template. Now, I want to activate this theme and open this theme in the browser. So I'm going to click on this activate button. And as you can see, this theme is now activated. Just open this theme on the new tab. So I'm going to just click on this visit site to open this theme on the new tab. When you open this theme on a new tab, you're going to get this awkward result. As you can notice here, you don't have your styling. You don't have any images here. You will get this horrible result. But don't be afraid because we just changed the extension of the index file and make it PHP. That doesn't convert this HTML template into WordPress. We need to make some changes into HTML template to create this beautiful WordPress theme. So let's see how to do it. So I'm going to just open my Visual Studio Code editor and now let me show you how we can convert this simple HTML template into WordPress theme. Now the first thing you need, you need to specify information about your WordPress theme in the style.css file. Now if we just open your dashboard, you can notice here if we click on this theme detail, you're not going to get any information about your theme in this section. So why don't we first specify information about this theme? So let me just open my style.css and specify some information about this theme. So at the top up here, I'm going to add a header for this style.css file. So I'm going to specify information about this WordPress theme in this header. So I'm going to add here forward slash star star forward slash. So I'm going to just add a simple command in this style.css and I'm going to pass information about this theme in this command. As you know, WordPress take this command as the information about this template. So I'm going to just specify here theme name. So I'm going to say here theme name and I'm going to specify name for this theme, which is daily tuition. Then I'm going to specify URI of this theme. So I'm going to say theme URI. Now, if you ever upload this theme to the WordPress, you will have the theme URI. But at this time, I don't have anything here. So I'm going to leave this parameter as it is and I'm going to specify author here and just specify my name and just out of that I'm going to specify author URI so I'm going to say author URI and I'm going to just specify the name of my website so I'm going to say www.dailywebtuition.com and the last I'm going to specify description for this theme so I'm going to say description and just specify here WordPress daily tuition theme. Save this file, open your dashboard and reload it. Once you reload it and click on this theme detail, you're going to have the detail of your theme in this section. You will have your theme name, the version and the description of your theme. Now I just want to specify version for this theme. So I'm going to just open the style.css file and I'm going to just specify here version. And I'm going to say here 1.0. Save the changes and just reload this dashboard. When you reload it, you can notice we have the version here. Version 1.0. As simple as that. So using this standard CSS, I can specify different information about my theme in this section. I'm going to just close this panel and just back to my standard CSS file. Now, once I specify information about this theme, let me just create header.php and footer.php file for this WordPress theme. Now, let me just open the index.php file. And now I just want to separate the header and the footer from this file. So in the root directory of this template, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to just create a new template file, header.php. And I'm going to put the header section of this template file in this header.php file. So I'm going to just simply grab this header section. So I'm going to grab this header section from this main area. 
So I'm going to just grab it from this opening main tag. Right from here up to the top, I will just cut this section and paste it inside this header.php file. Then just back to index.php, I just wanted to grab my footer section. So as you can notice here, we have this footer section here. So I'm going to just grab this footer from this closing main tag right from here. So I'm going to just create a new template file in this root directory and name that file footer.php. So I'm going to use footer.php file to add footer in this template. So I'm going to open the index.php and just grab the content from the index.php file from this closing main tag. So I'm going to just grab this footer section with the script tag and with the closing HTML. Grab it, cut this code from this index file and paste it inside the footer.php file like this. Save the changes, open the header.php file, save the changes and open the index.php file and save all the changes. Now without the header, you can't execute the HTML file. So I'm going to add header in this template. So at the top of this index.php file, right up here, I'm going to call a PHP tag and I'm going to call a WordPress template tag get header. So I'm going to add here a command and say get header dot php file so i'm going to just add here get header template tag so using this template tag i'm going to have all the code inside this header dot php file i'm going to do the same for this footer section as well so i'm going to just scroll down at the end of this index file right down here i'm going to just add here a simple php tag and inside it i'm going to create a single line command and just say get footer.php file and just call a WordPress template tag get footer. So using this get footer template tag, I'm going to have all the code inside this footer.php file. Save the changes and back to the top. Now what we need, we need to make this template dynamic. WordPress can't allow you to add static content inside the WordPress theme. So let me just convert this HTML template into dynamic WordPress theme. So I'm going to just open my header.php file and let's start with the header and convert this header into WordPress dynamic theme. So let me show you how to do that. So in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how we can convert this simple HTML template into dynamic WordPress theme. So I will see you in the next one.